if you're getting sick of the hauls, I really do apologise. I know I've been throwing a lot out there at the moment, but I feel with new season around the corner, it's just like I'm having to revamp my wardrobe, guys. Like, I need coats, I need jumpers. I need everything so yeah i really do apologize if you are getting sick of them i am going to be throwing new videos in the mix very soon vlogs i've got a whole load of things that i plan to do so yeah stay with me bear with me but if you do like hauls and that's all good um but i know like not everybody does because it's like spending money and all of that sort of stuff last week i actually stumbled across h&m now h&m for me is a funny old shop because i feel like they're really basic like they're not somewhere that i would like be on the high street and be like oh my god i need to look in h&m i hate it in there i can't stand it i feel like the shop's all over the place i never see what i want and um, that might just be less as one there might be some actually really good ones but yeah if i'm ever going to shop on h&m it's always online but what i do love h&m for is their jumpers and coats every autumn winter they deliver in the jumper department and the coat department so i picked up a few newbies from there that i really wanted to show you because it's autumn winter so without further ado i'm not going to ramble too much and i'm going to show you what i picked up that is a beautiful coat in there that i just cannot wait to show you so yeah let's get into it okay so first off is my favorite purchase of this entire haul and it is this faux fur like teddy coat it's not teddy because not in the teddy fabric it's like a faux fur coat but i do think they describe it as a teddy coat on the website whatever that means uh, i'm gonna come in and show you so it's in this sort of gorgeous like camely beige color honestly i wish you could feel this right now i wish you could just put your hand through the screen and feel the quality of this right now because this is the softest thing i've literally ever put on like i can't stop feeling it the quality is insane wasn't the cheapest coat i believe it might have been around the 80 pound mark but i think it's important to invest in a good coat you know you want something that's warm you want something that's good quality as much as i love having a primarni jacket in there i always invest in some higher end coats as well because in my opinion the primark ones are just never as good quality and are not always as thick as like your H&M sort of ASOS ones um so yeah I absolutely love this I really love the pockets I was looking for a coat that had like downward pockets on and this just ticks a massive boxes for me they also do this in like a like a blush pink color that looked really cute because I feel like that's the color that's very much coming through for autumn winter I've teamed a different bag which I'd be happy to know and I've also just put on my leopard print ankle boots from Primark I feel like these go so nice with this so this would be such a cute autumn winter outfit like i said the quality of this is insane so yes a little bit pricey but worth every single penny and if you can get this then definitely do and just for reference this is actually a size four which is a big shocker i didn't think it was going to fit me at all but i brought it just because i loved it so much and that was the only size left in stock and you know what it was a blessing in disguise because i feel like if i'd have got any other size it would have drowned me um so yeah this is what the four looks like as you can see it's quite oversized um comfy and fits beautifully so i couldn't have asked for a better size but as I mentioned, it was running out of stuff on the website. So if you can get it, get it. Um, and also have a look in your local H&M. But yeah, first purchase, absolutely in love. Just going to do a little twirl. Okay, so I've just kept the same like under outfit on because I feel like it's so versatile. I'll just chuck a load of stuff on in this haul. It's not a styling video. It's just showing you my items. So just wait to get that out of there before people are like, oh, you're using the same outfit again and again and again. It is a haul video. It's not like a styling video. I will be doing styling videos. So stay tuned for them and different outfit ideas. The next thing I picked up from H&M was an actual teddy coat. The other one was definitely faux fur. I don't know where I got the teddy idea from or even if it was named Teddy, but this is a Teddy coat because the fur is different. It's like not as soft and it's that sort of, um, yeah, like Teddy fabric, <laughs> um, if that makes any sort of sense. But yeah, it's just this black Teddy coat, just got like a round neck like that. And then again, it's got the really nice downward pockets that I like. It's like it mid length, so it just comes past my bum and then just above my knee so it's quite a nice length i've just teamed it with like an all black outfit but i've got a pop of print on shoes because we've got the primark leopard print boots um i really really like this jacket again i feel like it's going to be such a hard choice like knowing what to keep and what to send back but i think you can never go wrong with like an all black look with like i said just a puff print um and yeah really nice for work and stuff as well quite smart really comfy again doesn't obviously feel as nice as the faux fur jacket but i do think this one was cheaper i really can't can't remember off the top of my head but i will leave all details in the description bar but yeah absolutely love this again it does just have like popper buttons as well so you can do it up to keep you warm and also i got this in a size small just for reference it's quite oversized but i do like that um so yeah really really happy with this one okay so the last coat i picked up from h&m was this checked coat so it's like in a beige and black check this one just kept catching my eye there was something about it that was drawing me to it so i was like right i'm just gonna get it and see i got it in a size six because 
I've just been noticing a lot, like with coats, I've been having to downsize this season. Like normally I'd be getting eights and tens, but I don't know what it is, but I've been having to get like sixes and even fours in coats. And oh my gosh, this is massive for a six. I definitely needed a four in this. It's so big and I really don't like it as much as what I liked it on the website. So I'm just gonna show you. So, so just to begin with, I'm just gonna show you how it is, just like sort of, you know, just hanging over like my shoulders because I feel like it's just too big to wear. It's so unflattering. So for me personally, this is the only way I'd wear this size at the moment because like I said, it's really big for a six. So yeah, this is the first sort of way I'd wear it, which I don't think it looks too bad like this. Um, and then let me just show you what it looks like on. It's so big, I can't get over like how big it is, how much room is in this. Um, so as you can see, there's two little buttons with like the turtle with shell buttons that are everywhere. So as you can see, without sort of doing the um, tie waist belt up, it's so big, like there's so much room. Um, and then let me just show you how it is doing this up. If I stand back, can you just see like how much room there is on the bottom? I don't know, like I just don't like this one as much as the other two. I just don't think it looks as good on as what I did on the website. And I do also think something's going on with the sizings because I am never a four in coats and jackets, like I'm never a four. I feel like I could definitely have downsized to the four and it just been a little bit more snug and fitted me nicer because I feel like with these sort of long light coats, they don't look any good like being super oversized. And um, because obviously when you like tying them up, it's just so much excess fabric everywhere. So they do need to be quite snug. Um, so yeah, I'm not overly loving this at all. Definitely prefer the other two, so this will be going back. Okay, the next thing I picked up from H&M was a jumper. Like I said, H&M do a good array of knitwear normally, um, and they're always really well priced and quite good quality. So this one is just a grey ribbed knitted jumper. I really like this. It's so simple, just a real simple neckline. I've sort of come to realise that, you know, like, the like roll necks and things like that, they don't really do a lot for me. So I normally just stick with like plain, just round necks like this. I really love ribbed jumpers in particular when it comes to my knitwear. I am quite fussy. Um, and yeah, this is gorgeous. It's a really nice fit. I think this is a size small. Let me just check. Yeah, I got this in a size small. I think they do go down to an extra small, but I like mine a little bit like slouchy. Um, so that's why I opt for a small. Um, I've just tucked it in slightly as well. Obviously you can just took it out and um, let me just show you the rib up close so yeah this is what it looks like up close a really gorgeous rib like mole gray yeah just so so simple just chucked on with a pair of black trousers the shoes that everybody hates and sorrow bag and um, but yeah just a really really nice jumper and this is really comfy as well it doesn't feel itchy or anything it's really soft so yeah i really like this jumper Okay, so I know you said I don't like high necks when it comes to jumpers, and I genuinely don't, but this one was really catching my eye on the website. I don't know why, because red's a bit like unlike me, isn't it, guys? Like, you know I stick to my beige, grey, black, white. Um, but yeah, like I said, there's just something catching my eye about this red jumper. I was like, you know what, I'm going to get it, because it's always good to add a little bit of colour in your wardrobe from time to time, and I'm so glad I did, because I feel like I really love this. I feel like it's such a pleasant change, um, and again, it's so, so easy to style. You could put this with like a medium wash of denim jeans, and it'll look really, really cute, but also black trousers, um, flats again, and then just a side bag like this, um, or even just take the bag off and just have it like that. But yeah, I really like this. It's a really comfy fit. I really like the sleeves on these. Sort of goes like tight here, but then like really baggy there. Um, and yeah, it is like a high roll neck, which I'm not always keen about. They just itch me more than anything. I think that's what the issue is. So I'm quite pleasantly surprised by this. Let me know what you think, but... Yeah, I do quite like the pop of colour. Adds a little change to my wardrobe, so yeah. Okay, so the next jump that I picked up is like an oatmeal brown, I'm gonna say. I feel like brown is a massive colour this season. Probably more of a rich brown than this, actually. Uh, but yeah, I just thought I'd get a different sort of coloured jumper as opposed to like grey, black, white. Um, so yeah, I opted for this one. I'm not too sure, though. I don't know if I will be keeping this. It's nothing like special, I guess. Um, just, again, in a size small. I've just paired it with a pair of black, white, trousers i wouldn't actually wear the shoes i've got on under this i've just slipped them on purely just for comfort stuck with how to style this one actually um if i'm quite honest um but yeah another really nice jumper it's really comfy again i'm just not too sure on the color if it's anything that great um but yeah okay so the next thing i picked up from h&m was actually this white bodysuit so it's like a sort of shirt bodysuit it's a wrap over it's got a little bit of a plunged neck and it's quite floaty on the arms i'm going to come in and show you a little bit better um, but do you know what? I was so pleasantly surprised by the quality of this. I mean, it could do with a good iron, I'm not going to lie. But like on the website, I just didn't know what quality fabric-wise to expect. But in person, it's sort of like a ribbed... 
I don't even know what fabric is, like a knitted fabric, it's really warm, which surprised me, because I just thought it'd be like a thin, like cheap fabric, um, and I also just didn't think it was going to fit that well, being like a crossover and a bit plungy, um, I probably would need to sort out my bra situation a little bit, because it is gaping a little bit, uh, but on the whole, I absolutely love it, I think it's such a nice fit, um, compared to others that I've tried in this style that just have not fitted me at all, I've been after a really nice sort of like shirt style, um, plunge body suit like this for a while now and I feel like this one is the best that I've tried. I feel like it looks so nice just teamed with a pair of light wash denim jeans, um, some flats, my Zara bag, trusty Zara bag um, but also again you can style this with wide leg trousers, black trousers, wear it for work, options are endless. So I don't think it was the cheapest, I remember looking at the price thinking oh yeah but our quality definitely reflects how good it is and the fit does as well so yeah definitely check it out. They also have this in black I believe so yeah really good purchase I'm really happy. Next thing I picked up was another basic as you can see and it is this black sweater but it's off the shoulder. As we now approach autumn winter I can't get away with wearing like thin bardo off the shoulder tops as much unless I'm like really layering. So I wanted a nice sweater version that's obviously going to keep me warm and this is the one I picked up. It's really nice inside. It's like loop back material so it's really soft um, in the lining of this and it fits really nice and comfy as well. Like it's such a snug comfy um, jumper. Again what size did I get? I got this in a size extra small i feel like i could have upsized this and had it a little bit baggier because it's all it's nice and baggy here but the sleeves are a little short so yeah i might have got a small in this but all the same looks really nice just teamed with a pair of wide leg trousers just a real simple basic like i said um and yeah super comfy as well so really pleased with this item okay so the last thing i picked up from h&m was some loungewear this is purely like loungewear for the home i wouldn't be going out in this um but yeah they seem to do like some nice loungewear they've never tried h&m loungewear so i thought do you know what? I'm going to try it and see how comfy it is, how good quality it is because although I love Primark loungewear, it's so cheap, sometimes the quality is just not that good. Like I feel like I put it in the wash and it comes out bubbly and stuff. So yeah, I thought I'd try some H&M. So I just got this pink ribbed lounge set. It's in like a blush colour I think. I got these both in a size medium because they were out of stock in a small. So they're quite oversized but I like that for loungewear, I don't like to feel really tight and uncomfy when I'm chilling at home so yeah like sizing up in things is not always a bad thing, a little bit baggy on the waist but as I mentioned I don't like loungewear to feel like really tight like I want to be comfy um, but yeah this is a really nice loungewear set to be honest with you, it's not a lot to really report and um, yeah just really comfy and cute for at home. Um, when you're chilling on a Saturday night watching the experts are <laughs> so yeah really like this oh my god I feel like my hair has got significantly worse as the haul has gone on because I'm putting things over my head and so the last thing I picked up from H&M was just a pair of white pointed kitten heels so I wanted some heels without a big massive heel and I really wanted some like white point ones because I've seen them styled up on quite a few like influencers and um, Instagrams and stuff and look stunning and so I picked these ones up so I'm going to come in close and show you so they're just simply a white pair of pointed shoes but they do just have a little kid and heel and their sling backs as well yeah i'm not too sure what i'm going to do styling wise with these yet but just just really wanted a pair just thought like they could look really nice with their black pair of trousers and um, denim jeans quite endless obviously they're not like winter shoes and more autumn shoes but yeah I thought we could do a few things with these so I really like those so yeah that brings us to the end of this H&M haul video I really hope you have enjoyed it and seen a few autumn winter staples that you may want for your wardrobe if you have enjoyed it then please do remember to give it a big thumbs up and also make sure you subscribe if you are new to my channel and yeah I shall see you all in my next video bye bye